Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at all the AWS storage services in brief here, so let's get to it. So the first is Simple Storage Service S3. This is a serverless object storage service. You can upload very large files and an unlimited amount of files. You pay for what you store. You don't worry about the underlying file system or upgrading the disk size. You have S3 Glacier. This is a cold storage service. It's designed as a low cost storage solution for archiving and long-term backup. It uses previous generation uh, HDD drives to get that low cost and it's highly secure and durable. We have Elastic Block Store EBS. This is a persistent block storage service. It is a virtual hard drive in the cloud and you attach to EC2 instances. You can choose different kinds of hard drives. So SSD, IOPS, SSD, throughput HDD, and um, a cold HHD, okay? We have Elastic File Storage, so EFS. It is a cloud native NFS file system service. So file storage, uh, you can mount to multiple EC2 instances at the same time when you need to share files between multiple servers. We have Storage Gateway. This is a hybrid cloud storage service that extends your on-premise storage to the cloud. We got three offerings here, File Gateway, so extend your local storage to Amazon S3. Volume Gateway caches your local drive to S3, so you have a continuous backup of the local files in the cloud. Tape Gateway, so stores files onto virtual tapes for backing up your files on very cost-effective long-term storage. And we got one more page here because there's a lot of services here. We have AWS Snow Family, so these are storage devices used to physically migrate large amounts of data to the cloud. And so we have Snowball and Snowball Edge. These are briefcase size data storage devices between 50 to 80 terabytes. I don't believe Snowball is available anymore. It's just Snowball Edge, uh, but it's good to have all of them in here so we can see what's going on. We have Snowmobile. This is a cargo container filled with racks of storage and compute that is transported via a semi-trailer tra tractor truck to transfer up to 100 petabytes of data per trailer. I don't think we're gonna be ordering that anytime soon because that's pretty darn expensive, but that's cool. We have Snow Cone. This is a very small version of Snowball that can transfer eight terabytes of data. We have AWS Backup, a fully managed backup service that makes it easy to centralize and automate the backup of data across multiple AWS services. So EC2, EBS, RDS, DynamoDB, EFS, Storage Gateway, you create the backup plans. We have Cloud Endure Disaster Recovery, so continuously replicates your machine in a low cost staging area in your target AWS account and preferred region, enabling fast and reliable recovery in case of IT data center failures. We have Amazon FSx. This is a feature rich and highly performant file system that can be used for uh, Windows. So that would be using SMB or Linux, which uses Lustre. And so there we have the Amazon FS, FSx for Windows file server. So use SMB protocol and allow you to mount FSx to Windows servers. And then the Lustre one, which uh, uses uh, Linux Lustre file system and allows you to mount F FSx, Linux servers. Are there any storage services missing here? Not really. I mean, you could count Elastic Container Repository as one, but um, that's kind of something else. Or you could also count maybe um, uh, code commit, but you know, I kind of put those in a separate category where, we, where those are in our developer tools or our containers, okay?